No matter what you do, you can't please everyone. That's what middleweight champion Israel Adesanya is finding out after his latest title defense. His hunger in the sport was questioned after his fight was labeled boring by fans. But how did the last style bender defend himself? And who is likely his next opponent? Plus, what did Kael Sonnen say that other fighters don't understand about Izzy's approach? Stay tuned for all of that and more coming right up. First up, defending the gold. Coming into UFC 276, Israel Adesanya had already defended his middleweight championship four times. He dealt with Yoel Romero, Paul Costa, Marvin Vittori, and Robert Whittaker. Only one of those had finished with a TKO, so it shouldn't have surprised anyone that his latest fight went to a decision too. But at UFC 276 against Jared Cannonier, fans and commentators were unimpressed by the lack of striking and risk-taking. One man coming to his defense was Swedish rising star Kamzat Chimaev. Chimaev is fighting at welterweight, but has called out Adesanya before and said that he would be keen for that matchup. After Adesanya's latest fight, Chimaev thinks that he can smell blood in the water. Chimeyov said, Adesanya's doing his job. He makes his money. Now he's the champ. You don't need to do crazy things just to win. I don't know what was happening with him last night. He fought better before. Now maybe he's not that hungry. And Chimeyov wasn't the only one taking shots at Adesanya for an uneventful night. Even celebrity Chris Pratt, who was at the event in person, couldn't resist. In the post-fight show on ESPN, he said, I'm just an actor, but I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of coming out like all that talk and then just kind of putting on a little bit of pitter-patter. But not long after the fight, Adesanya hit back at Pratt on Twitter saying, Good morning, I'm the man, you're just some fan. Next, championship position. One man who defended Adesanya was his teammate and featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky has defended his title four times since winning it from Max Holloway in 2019, and three of those fights went to a decision, so he understands the position of the belt holder pretty well. Talking on the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani, Volkanovsky said, The thing is, people need to understand when someone only has a puncher's chance, and that is all they're looking for, why does a champion have to take all the risks. He also thinks that when the dust settles, it won't matter how each fight was won, but just the record left behind. Fighters like Saint Pierre and Anderson Silva were also targeted for the same reason, but now they are universally recognized as legends of the sport. When Volkanovski faced Max Holloway for the second fight in their trilogy, it was also characterized as boring by some fans who expected more fireworks. But Volkanovski put any doubt to rest with a more dominant victory over Holloway in their third meeting in July. Now, he is considering moving up to lightweight and challenging Charles Oliveira. As for Israel Adesanya, his next logical opponent could be an old rival, Alex Pereira. Since the last style bender has dominated the top shelf of the division, there are not many opponents left, but Pereira is flying through the rankings and has an impressive 2-0 record against Adesanya in kickboxing. Adesanya confirmed that the UFC had already locked in a date for the fight, but both sides were still working on the details. If anyone can knock Izzy's crown off his head, it's someone who has knocked him out before, but it's a different sport and a much bigger stage. Coming up next, what did Kyle Sonnen say in defense of Adesanya, and could we be seeing Kamzat Chimeyev up against Adesanya soon? So don't go anywhere. While Volkanovski has been a big supporter of Izzy, there have been plenty of critics. Former two-division champion Henry Cejudo said, he hypes a lot and he doesn't deliver. Put a beating on people, be spectacular. But for former UFC contender and professional trash talker Kyle Sonnen, he thinks that people like Cejudo are just not getting why Adesanya is so good. In a video posted on his YouTube channel, Sonnen said, Adesanya got here by being very strategic, and he got here by using his absolute best tools when he's in combat. Not trying to show off, not trying to do new stuff, not trying to get the oohs and ahs from the crowd. Sonnen thinks that for each fight, Izzy uses the tools that he needs to for getting the job done. But some argue that it's not enough, and that MMA should be more entertaining. For UFC President Dana White, he is looking for entertainment value. In an event that was part of his Contender series, Dana walked out from an interview because he was so angry with how the fighters were performing. He only signed one fighter to the UFC that night, and that was Joe Pfeiffer, who knocked out his opponent in the first round. After the event, Dana said, if you want to get into the UFC and this is where you want to be, act like Joe Pfeiffer. Be Joe Pfeiffer. Be excited to be here. Be fired up to fight. Try to finish the fight. Try to win. To be fair though, Izzy has already proven himself and worked his way to the top. Now he's just enjoying the privileges. There's a feud that has been building over the last few years that should excite every UFC fan. Israel Adesanya and John Jones have gone back and forth online for some time now. At one point, Jones even asked to be removed from the UFC's official pound-for-pound rankings after Adesanya was ranked higher than him. After Izzy's title defense against Jared Cannonier, John Jones couldn't help but make fun of something the champion said. Adesanya made a frozen reference when trash-talking against his next opponent, Alex Pereira. When Jones heard that, he thought it was ridiculous. He tweeted, What the F, this mother effort, just make a frozen reference with those glossy fingernails. Then shortly after, he said that he watched Alex Pereira's fight and was now a big fan. Jones is getting ready for his first heavyweight fight against Stipe, which will likely be later this year. 
He has long been considered the best light heavyweight fighter of all time and now wants to try his hand at heavyweight to cement his legacy. But could Jones and Adesanya eventually face off against each other? Izzy has been compared to Jones for his dynamic and exciting fighting and seemingly natural talent. They are a similar height, but Jones is about 10 kilograms heavier than Adesanya, so it wouldn't be too difficult to arrange a fight. And given the trash talking between them, it's a matchup that fans would definitely be keen to see. But considering Jones is bulking up for his heavyweight debut, if it ever happens, it won't be in the near future. If you are going to put money on a future UFC champion, Kamzat Chimaev is not a bad bet. The Russian-born Swede has been tearing his way through the UFC in his first five fights with the promotion, and his coach has a long-term plan for his star fighter. First, though, he'll have to go through Diaz, who is fulfilling the last thing asked of him on his contract so that he can kiss the UFC goodbye. For many people, though, it's a disrespectful way to end the career of a widely respected fighter. Former fighter Dan Hardy has called the fight a public execution because Diaz has been outspoken against the UFC. Chimaev is the huge favorite and has promised to finish off Diaz's UFC career with a bang. If everything goes to plan, though, Chimaev's coach Andreas Michael thinks that he will be able to land himself a title shot against Kamaru Usman if he beats Leon Edwards. But that's not all. Michael thinks that after that fight, Chimaev could fight Israel Adesanya and become a two-division champion in back-to-back -back fights. That would put Chimaev on the path to his promise of becoming the first-ever three-division UFC champion. It does feel like he might be getting ahead of himself, but Conor McGregor earned himself a title shot after six fights, and Chimaev's bout against Diaz will be his sixth too. If his coach is right, then Kamzat Chimaev could come up against Israel Adesanya in the next couple of years, which would no doubt be a blockbuster. Who do you think would win between Adesanya and Chimaev? And has Kamzat done enough to earn himself a championship fight yet? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.